Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Note. And today I'm going to show you how to install a VPN on your Android device, be it a tablet or smartphone. Now, for example's sake, I'm going to be using the VPN I personally have, which is Private Internet Access. And this is a um, basic VPN. It actually does have quite a few functions. And um, as far as this particular VPN it um, it's actually pretty good as far as the security and speed I highly advise it because of that but I also want to mention something right now it might be great today but tomorrow things might 100% change I've seen it all the time even with Google so just keep that in mind and um, I highly highly recommend that you do some research on your VPNs and make sure that you get a good one like I said with this one it's actually pretty good right now it's one of the best that I've seen um, to be to give example of that I see my download speeds go from three megabytes per second about four megabytes per second but it go from there to all the way to 27 megabytes per second but the upload and ping was about the same now as far as things goes, your mileage may vary, but it is seeing some dramatic difference on my phone as far as the VPN. Now, as far as the phone I'm using, it's a Samsung Note 2. You can pretty much use anything as long as it's capable of downloading this. If you're going with this company, of course, uh, if you're going with a different company, you need to check their stuff. Now, when you choose a company to go with, I highly recommend that if you're going for an Android device of some type, you need to do one of two things. Well, you need to do two things. One, see if they even got an Android application. Two, see if the Android application is compatible with your device, being phone, uh, tablet, computer, or whatnot. And that's a very, very important thing to note because if they don't even have an Android device, then it might not even be worth it because you can still use a third party. But the fact is, is if you got to use a third party, that makes it a little less secure because the developer of that third party application could be malicious. Then on top of that, the if if the company actually was worthwhile, they already have something either in plan or already in action as far as already having it in a Android, I, uh, iPhone, Windows, whatever application. That's a huge, huge, huge thing. And um, as far as this one, pretty much it's like every other application out there as far as VPN goes on how to set it up. Uh, I, I took a couple screenshots and basically all it is is you, you log in, you deal with the settings, um, mess with the encryption, as far as how secure you want it, keep in mind the more secure it is, the the uh, slower the speeds are, but the um, less secure, the higher speeds. For a mobile device like a phone, I suggest the highest, but uh, for a tablet, it's up to you, especially if it stays at your house. Now for the data encryption for this particular one, at this time, I... Um, I have the highest, which for this application, which is AES-256 data encryption. For the data authentication, it's a SHA-256, and then a handshake is a RSA-4096, and um, that's, you know, that's actually pretty good. Even with computers and whatnot, that's pretty good, especially the AES-256. That's the highest encryption to date, anything, on anything. So that's that's a huge thing. Now, one thing I want to mention is I, um, I don't know how their security software works as far as if, um, I know they, they, they um, compress the, the data coming out of your phone or computer and they encrypt it, but I don't know they encrypt it with your password or not I, I'm not sure about that and I have my doubts that I do it like that but um, if they do that then you need to have a strong password 
So that's that's also one thing to keep in mind. And it's the same thing with any VPN or anything like that. But um, as far as things go, like I said, all you have to do is install it, sign in, put in the stuff, and then the thing will automatically connect you to the fastest. Uh, for this, I got a picture, a screenshot, and that I took of it real quick. And um, obviously, it's on the United States East server, it's the quickest one in my area. And um, you can see the upload and download speeds. Now, as far as things go, Craig Bennett, founder and owner of TechViewsAndUp.com. And if you got any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Also, if you got any questions you want to leave private suggestions or whatnot, email me on techviewsnop.com in that private email that goes directly to me. Now, uh, one thing I want to mention is if your suggestion or question warrants a video, I'll give you a shout out, and um, that will help you out. Now, uh, if, if this video has helped you, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And if you have a VPN that you want to list or security software that you want to list, feel free to leave it below. And I, I might even take a look at it and make a video and give you a shout out at the same time. But please feel free to leave it below and t tell everybody why you like your one VPN over another. Or if you use this particular one, why you like it over another. And that way people who watch this video can get a good grasp on what to get, at least at the time that are watching it. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Tech Review Snope, and hope you have a great day.